Hey guys, I'm doing a talk through today. Um, I wanted to share with you my uh, daily skincare routine in the mornings. Um, so I start off with the Strivectin Multi Action Moisture Matrix Melting Cleanser. This cleanser works a little bit different than your typical um, get your face wet, put your cleanser on, massage it into your skin. This one you apply to dry skin and a circular motion like a gel. It's like a gel consistency and then it melts into an oil. And then when you rinse it with warm water and continue massaging, the oil will transform into a cleansing milk. Rinse and pat dry to reveal, reveal soft, dewy skin. Um, I have used this about six times, and with the colder months being here, this cleanser is amazing because uh, I get dry, and I'm typically oily, but this, this stuff right here, so a little more about this product, I have it pulled up on my phone. It is a four oil super blend with marula, avocado, sweet almonds, and grapeseed oil. And it gently removes makeup and impurities while leaving skin hydrated. Dandelion leaf extract neutralizes environmental stressors for improved radiance. Rice bran and sunflower extract soothe and nourish skin. So. That's awesome. Uh, let's put this on and get started with our day. Okay, so let's get about, can you see that? About this much. And I'm using my Simple Human Mirror still as my ring light slash mirror um, until I move my ring light in here I needed a teeny bit more for my face so it is a gel consistency at first like I said and then I just always whenever you are washing your face massage in an upward motion Oh, it feels so good. I can feel it transforming into the oil. That feels amazing. Do that down my neck as well. And I will be right back. I'm going to rinse my face with warm water and it should transform into a milk consistency. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the warm water um, on my face and as you can see it's just kind of got this milk texture well consistency going on and it feels like amazingly hydrating I don't know how else to put that other than it just feels super hydrating it feels wonderful on the skin um, I highly recommend this for people with dry skin or even if you're like me, um, a combination skin, you get dry in the winter, this is your best friend. So and I have scrubbed my lips and put lip balm on, just so you know. Um, I'm going to pat this dry. Okay so next I'm going to apply this Dong Yin B. Again, I'm not I'm probably not pronouncing this right. Korean skincare brand, 100% um, red ginseng, the only one you'll find with 100% red ginseng that I know of. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
but this um, essence, if you are unaware of what essence is and what it does, it's kind of like a hydrator boost. Um, it is like a primer for your moisturizer. So I just take a little bit and dump it in my hand like this. Kind of get it in between and I go in a heart shape sort of motion like this. And I pat that into my skin, go down on my neck. And then I just let this absorb and while I am letting this absorb, I apply my eye creams. So I do, I have been using two different eye creams lately. Um, I've been using the Strivectin Advanced Retinol Eye Cream first, if you can see that, and it is okay to use AM and PM, just so you know. We all know, we all know retinol is the bomb.com. So next I am going to be moving on to eye cream since I'm letting my essence uh, absorb into my skin. And I use two different eye creams at the moment in the daytime and in the nighttime. So the first one I use is the Strivectin Advanced Retinol Eye Cream. I have that on the back of my hand. It is an award winner. It is a high performance eye cream. I'm reading this from their site. Uh, fights major signs of aging in the delicate eye area. We all know Strivectin is all patented all patented with Nia 114 which is niacin and vitamin B3 um, it's a wonderful combination for aging so um, it says it helps with fine lines and crow's feet around the eye area and we all know retinol is skincare's gold standard ingredient helps improve cell turnover while targeting key signs of aging and patented like I said, Nia 114 technology strengthens that skin's barrier and helps limit retinal sensitivity because it is common to get um, irritation because retinal is pretty strong. So the Nia 114, which repairs your skin's barrier, moisture barrier, um, really helps with any kind of sensitivity to retinol and I think retinol is so important it needs to be in your routine somewhere so I'm just applying this I'm gonna let that absorb my essence is absorbed into my skin and Next, what I'm going to move on to is another product. Well, if it were two to three times a week, which I have already used this product two to three times a week, so I'm not going to use it today. Um, I don't want to over exfoliate my skin. This is the Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy. It's their peeling mousse. And it's just, um, a physical exfoliant that um, peels away your impurities it's a peel so I normally would use that but I'm taking a break from that since I've already used it two to three times a week and we're gonna move on to serum I got my rose quartz roller out of the freezer I am getting a skincare fridge in the mail which I am very excited to make a video about um, for serum today, I'm going to be using the Strivectin Multi-Action Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Illuminator. So if you don't know about this product, it has 26 times more antioxidants than an orange. It's got acerola cherry in it, but anyway, it's just a combination, it's supercharged combination of retinol and vitamin C because both are they're just you need them in skincare so you apply one to three drops on your face I like to drop it on my hand 
two, three. And kind of pat my fingers in there. And apply this to my neck as well. Don't forget your neck. And just pat that into the skin. And now that that is patted into the skin, I'm going to take my cold rose quartz roller and I'm going to uh, always with your rollers go in an outward motion. So I'm going to roll that into my skin. So just rolling that serum into my skin. And then I take the eye side and just roll out underneath the eye and on top of the eyelid where I applied my retinol eye cream. It is fully absorbed so I'm going to move on with my other eye cream. I'm using the Multi Action from Strivectin uh, R&R cream, which stands for Recharge and Repair, I believe. Okay, so yes, Repair and Recharge. I just had to double check, make sure my facts were right. Um, this has an apricot, oh, well, you can't see with the plastic piece on there. Let's see if I can get this off of nails. Um, yeah, so this is kind of disgusting. I could not, for the life of me, get this little plastic piece off with my nails, so I decided to use my mouth, and I got a hunk of eye cream in my mouth. So, you know, uh, it's life. Um, anyway, so this is an apricot tint. You probably can't tell on camera, but it's just... I really like that it has um, that kind of tint to it. And I just put that there, there. Don't worry, I am gonna use my ring finger to blend this out. Make sure it's under my nail, or the rest of it is not under my nail. I just kind of spread it out. And then I take my ring finger because it is the most gentle around your delicate and thin eye area. It is super important to take care of your eyes at an early age or just whenever, <laughs> whenever, honestly. Your eyes do need special care because of the thin skin. You guys, um, I forgot to mention, with a vitamin C serum, always use an SPF afterward. It doesn't matter if it's rainy and foggy, use an SPF. The reason I am stressing using an SPF is because it is going to reduce the efficacy of your product and your goal is anti-aging, radiance. Um, you're spending $60 on a product. You want the efficacy to be there. So use SPF, please. So what I was trying to say is vitamin C protects against free radical damage and sunscreen helps prevent your vitamin C from oxidizing on the skin, thereby improving its efficacy while also preventing blackheads. For brightening and radiation you know my simple human keeps on dimming I have to get close I'm sorry you guys I'm gonna get my ring light as soon as possible I'm going to grab my rose quartz roller and roll around my eyes where I put that R&R &R cream that I ate This just feels so soothing, you guys. I love, I love rollers. I have a Kyber roller as well. Um, so next, what's next on our list? SPF, like I just 
screamed at you guys about. Um, I actually use this. It is a serum cream. It is called the Pore Perfecting Serum Cream. It's got vitamin B3 and cannabis sativa seed oil in it. And it's got an SPF of 30 in it, which that that's perfect. It is by Garnier Green Labs. So it looks like that. And it's got a little pump that you twist. A little pump. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay. Um, I just pump some on the back of my hand. I use my ring finger to thus apply this. Chin. Let me get some more for my neck and my forehead. Forehead, forehead. I ordered a skincare fridge, a uh, skincare brush, like a Clarisonic sort of, and a steamer from Vanity Planet. It's going to be coming in the mail shortly, and I am so excited to share with you guys and make a video about it give a review of the brush but I'm just patting this serum cream into my skin and I'm gonna get some underneath my eyes as well because sunglasses um, they're not always on your face, so you just want to take that extra protection. So we're going to roll this, of course, make sure that it's sealed into the skin, all that good stuff. cannot wait until I have my ring light so that I don't have to struggle like this when recording. Roll down my neck as well. She went dim. Alright, we're back. So I'm going to let that absorb. And then I'm going to be using the brand new Strivectin. I've mostly used Strivectin this whole video. Um, I use Strivectin a lot. It's because at my old job, uh, we were obligated to know everything about every Strivectin product, pretty much, and learn about the brand. And, you know, I. I love it. I personally love Strivectin. I have not used a product that I don't like from them. So, and I'm saying this out of honesty. And it is pricier. So, I will say that uh, I can find alternatives that are dupes, maybe. But the quality is there. Okay, it is there. It's just expensive. But I think this just launched. I got this before it launched because I was still working and this is from the wrinkle recode line it is a moisture rich barrier cream so this is a very thick consistency it is designed to repair your skin's moisture barrier now we have friction from wearing the masks we get um environmental aggressors and you know things like that so I am going to grab a brush and apply this to my face and pat it in and I will be right back. Alright, so I don't know if you can see very well, I'm sorry, but it is a very thick consistency. Um, typically I would just use this at night and I'd use maybe my purity moisturizer but I feel like I need the extra moisture 
um, during these cold, cold times. It is cold right now. I'm taking this Giorgio Armani. Um, just brush like this. I use it for my face masks and just skincare products that I want to apply to my face. And I just get a little bit of this. Apply to my right cheek. Apply to my left cheek. Apply to my chin. Nose. And forehead. Oh, and you guessed it, your neck. Which Strivectin has their own like award-winning neck cream. Um, I actually have a sample of it, but um, I don't know. I might not use that today. So I'm going to take my clean fingers and pat that into my skin. I stress this a lot, but patting product into your skin as opposed to just rubbing it um, in an aggressive manner will definitely do you wonders. I used to be one of those people and my skin was constantly red and irritated because of it and I was like why I'm using the I'm using stuff that I think should work but um I was being too aggressive with my skin. You have to be gentle with this baby. So, I have the moisturizer applied. I'm gonna take my rose quartz roller from Beauty Bio once again. I microneedled last night. Um, just so you guys know, I microneedle only at nighttime. It is recommended to microneedle only at nighttime because, um, your skin is a bit flushed whenever afterward because, I mean, you created tiny little puncture wounds into your skin to produce collagen and um, so of course your skin is going to be a little angry, well not angry, but flushed is the word I would use. And, um, what was I going to say, I just lost my train of thought, silly me. But anyway, um, I just continue to roll this into my skin on my neck and I just let this absorb for a good I'd say at least five minutes um, you want to give your skin some time to absorb that product um, what I always tell people whenever they're layering product, which is typical in skincare, you have to use several different things. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but if you are a skincare enthusiast, you will. Um, so I want to mention, uh, I did not use a toner today. I sometimes use toner, but I ran out of cotton balls. I was going to use one for this video, but I ran out of cotton balls. So... This is the toner that I use. It is by one other than Strivectin with the Nia 114 technology. It is called the Advanced Glow Triphase Daily Glow Toner. And what this has in it is Nia 114, niacin, vitamin B, hyaluronic, lactic, and mandelic acids. So what you do is you just shake this bad boy up you pour a little on a cotton pad or a cotton ball and you just lightly go over your face to get it clean and even. But today I'm not doing that. Now I am not wearing makeup today. I just I simply don't feel like it. And I am taking a skincare day, I guess. So you know, uh, what I use whenever I don't wear makeup, um, is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is not cruelty free. Everything else that I have used is cruelty free except for, I don't believe the Red Ginseng Essence is cruelty free, um, but 
I'm so sorry. And the other product I mentioned from Philosophy, this is not cruelty free either. Strivectin though, it is 100% cruelty free. That's why another reason why I just love have so much love for this brand. But anyway, this is not, and it is a tinted moisturizer. It's got real pearls in it. If this don't stop, okay. It's got real pearls in it. Um, this shade is called Nude Glow. It's kind of got like a bubblegum scent to it, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's hard to tell, I'm sorry, but once it's applied to the skin, you'll, you'll be able to see. So, I am going to take my Giorgio Armani brush and apply her. I think that'll be the easiest route. So I'm going to apply straight on my cheeks. You guys will be able to notice. I'm going to do one side of my face and then don't do the other side of my face at first. Just to show you guys what this tinted moisturizer is capable of. And I love the fact that it does have real pearls in it. That's pretty awesome. It just gives you that glow. I mean, it's in the name, Glam Glow. Um, Hollywood born and raised. Not me, but the brand. And um, it does live up to its expectations. It is a tinted glow moisturizer. <laughs> and this is typically what I wear whenever I don't wear makeup. You see that? As opposed to that side, it's just, it's just so appealing to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I have a little bit of redness. I ordered some Sissa, Sissa pear from Sephora. I'm really, really excited to try that. Um, next week I will be having a video out on all of the new products that I'm going to be trying out. I'm going to just try them out and then give it about four weeks and I will give a full honest review if requested. I don't want to just pump you guys out with all these videos. I want you guys to suggest what you would like. Um, because this isn't all about me. <laughs> Duh, it's about you guys. So. I think that's. I think that's good. I feel it is evenly applied to my skin. And there is one last step. I know, you're like, oh my gosh. You do the most. Um. I do. <laughs> uh, I set my skin with a skin, I call it my skincare setting spray. It is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and oh, and I just spritz my face. And boom, uh, that is my warning skincare routine today my hair is a mess but you can just see that glow it's so natural but I will be doing um, another makeup tutorial because I got some new brushes in the mail I got the Jaclyn Hill Master Set, and I'm really excited to try it, and I wanted to try them on camera um, for first use, just to let you guys get a feel of how I'm feeling. So, this is my iconic vintage head wrap, as you know. I'm going to let my skin just take that all in, and yeah so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please 
like comment and subscribe please i will appreciate it so so much um also uh be sure to follow my skincare page um as i will keep you guys updated on um if i'm going to make a new video what i'm going to make a video about um etc so that is called skincare by lex on instagram and i will link that down below and i hope you all have a blessed day and everything's groovy all right bye peace and blessings okay so i kind of went into natural sunlight for you guys just to show you my glow <laughs> this stuff is incredible i love it so much that's why you need you just wear it alone and you're good to go so again thank you all for watching um i really appreciate it and hope you all have a blessed day again bye